G'day, c**ts. Looks like you're going to go to war with fucking Spain. Fuck me, is Gibraltar really worth the aggro? You see it from above? Looks like a child's papier-mâché interpretation of Jules. Poor c**ts Falklands, if you ask me. <clears throat> you might have noticed my voice has been fucked today. It's because I got absolutely shited on Castle Main last night. I do apologise. Suffice it to say, there will be no jingle today. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, Gibraltar. Absolute shite hole. Big fucking rock. Surrounded by c**ts who couldn't work out whether they were English c**ts or Spanish c**ts. So they just settled upon being weird c**ts. But you know what, says Michael Howard? There are c**ts. So we're going to fight for the c**ts. That is, of course, Michael Howard, the former conservative leader who looks like the world's most boring vampire. He'll bite your neck, make you undead, spend the next thousand years telling you about his favourite steam engines. What a c**t. I mean, war with fucking Spain? It's not even been a week since we triggered Article 50. Give it another few weeks, we'll be in a battle with Prussia for fucking cumin or something. <clears throat> I don't know, do they used to fight over spices? Seems like the kind of thing those c**ts would have done. Needless to say, though, I will throw my media might behind any war with Spain, because nothing shifts papers like a good war. You might remember the Sun's classic gotcha headline when our brave boys torpedoed a 14,000-ton Argentinian cruiser. Well, that's pretty iconic stuff. Right up there with Freddy Star ate my hamster. It's all part of the national consciousness. It's all uh, it's in your DNA, whether you know it or not. So, yeah, this, uh, this proposed battle with Spain will look rather quaint by comparison, to the all-out nuclear war that Donald Trump appears to be coaxing North Korea into. Talk about poking the fucking hornet's nest. Clearly he's under fire and needs a distraction, the kind of power that you can only muster through war. And I, for one, am only too happy to help him along in this epic crusade. I've colonised a whole fucking planet somewhere, you know, just in case this one goes to shit. You won't know about it, but it's somewhere in the Horsehead Nebula. Got some good pals there. So in the meantime, yeah, why not? Let those nuclear warheads fly. Aren't you just a little bit intrigued to see what it would all look like? Don't you think a nuclear winter would be pretty fucking awesome? Maybe the Dark Lord Cthulhu will rise, ushering in a thousand years of darkness, while all you c sit around listening to Michael Howard telling you about his favourite locomotives. Meanwhile, I'll be somewhere in a horsehead nebula, cultivating a brand new civilization slash media empire. Right, I've got to lie down. That's your lot. Tune in tomorrow for more good eye c**ts. Fuck off.